Got this feeling in my head. It won't go away, no. <laughs> Not thinking it all through or even talking to people about you. Got this feeling in my head. training Mike Kid Coyle? Uh, Mike's been with me for about six months now. Uh, we had a proposed date in December but uh, Mike picked up a little bit of an injury um, but he's got over that now and he's looking forward to his debut. And how far do you think he can go? As far as he wants. He really can go as far as he wants. He's got all the natural talent he needs. Just got to keep working on that. Don't need to really teach him much. Just coaching him and making everything okay with him really. Um, what weight is he fighting with? Debut's going to be around super middleweight, and then what we're going to look is gradually drop him down. He's going to be a sort of small super middleweight, he'll be just under the 12, and then what we'll do is we'll look to bring the weight down, and he'll compete and then look for championships at middleweight. All right, Mike Kid Coyle, are you looking forward to your debut? I am, I'm looking uh, very forward for it. Like, like I said, I've been training for six months now, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I've lost a couple of stones, been with him, training really hard, so I was out of the gym for a few years, I come back and I I was, I'd done well as an amateur and I just thought, you know, I'll give it another go, so here I am and I got my debut in three weeks and I'm looking very forward to it. Tell us some more about your amateur background. Well, uh, I started boxing when I was about 12, 13, I uh, won a few national titles, I beat a good few kids, I boxed Kelbrook, but I sprayed my ankle when I fought him, I'm not making no excuses, but I lost my appointment to him in the junior ABA final, and the year after that I won the national NABC's Class C, and I, which in that I beat Nathan Cleverley, which is the British Commonwealth and European champion now. So I thought if they can do well, you know, may as well give it a go and give it a good shot myself, you know. And what's your ambitions in boxing? Just to take one fight at a time, you know, and just be the best that I can be. And my mother, my mother and father's looking down on me and to do the best. Everything I do in my boxing is going to be for my mum and dad, you know. So just take it one fight at a time and listen to me train me and I reckon I can go as far as I want. Really. 